So we're here with Hatari at Eurovision in concert in Amsterdam. Hello, guys. Can you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Matthias. I'm from Iceland. I'm 25 years old. I'm unemployed at the moment. My name is Clements Hannigan. I'm a father of one and another one on the way. We live in Reykjavik. So thanks for making the trip to Amsterdam. I see that you chose some very functional uh, outfit to, to, to bring with you on, on the trip, right? Yeah. This is our casual wear. We decided not to be too flamboyant or uh, extravagant here in Amsterdam. We wanted something that breathes well, uh, focuses on our posture and is comfortable walking shoes. These are specially designed to um, uh, enhance my posture so I do not get too much tension in my shoulders and back and neck. I appreciate the, the function. I hope to see more something more artistic, hopefully, in Tel Aviv. Oh, you, you will get that, no doubt. Um, so, a question for you on the song that it translates in English to Hatred Will Prevail. Um, the combination of the, the aesthetics of the group with that title of a song, do you feel like you're, you have any way that you can connect to an audience that's so global, um, that's more used to pop music like do you, is there are there pieces of of yourselves that maybe would surprise the audience like you said you mentioned that you're a father of one are there are there, so, are there softer sides to Hatari that the the global audience will connect with through through uh, the Eurovision Song Contest softer sides of Hatari that global fans will connect with well we did study some masterpieces of pop history in writing the song. Uh, it's important to use a uh, popular medium to uh, reach the masses correctly. Uh, it needs to be accessible, yet uh, partake in the correct political agenda. I think maybe uh, knowing what your favorite Eurovision Song Contest song is would, would probably uh, surprise a lot of people. Well, after... Um, there has been no better work of writing than Euphoria since the composition of Waterloo. Same? Same. We're, we're very connected in opinions. What would it mean for, for you guys to bring the contest to Iceland next year? We're already writing a letter of apology to the <laughs> Icelandic nation in the case that we should win, which we are confident that we will. Uh, we fear that the Icelandic economy would not handle the strain. But that is all according to schedule, because we are um, tearing down the establishment, we are anti-capitalistic, so bringing Eurovision to Iceland, where we will destroy the economy, is part of the plan. So, I wish you guys the best of luck with that plan, and uh, if I will see you in Israel, but also possibly Iceland Airwaves. Yes. Yeah, see you in Iceland Airwaves and in Tel Aviv. Very nice questions. Looking forward to seeing you. Thank you, Joey. Yeah.